I'm Mike Solotenko, faculty member at Cal State LA and the chair of the Department of Chicano Studies. And we're talking about Children of the Rebellion, a conference slash discussion that we're organizing for Friday, April 16th. And uh, this idea originated primarily from an interaction between students and faculty I suppose being birthed by the initial impact of the budget crisis that's occurring uh, throughout the state of California, but in particular Cal State System and Cal State LA uh, as well. And in that discussion initially was somehow directed against budget issues, but it grew in the sense of the discussions of other issues that go beyond just merely thinking about the budgetary problems that state of California or the CSU or CSULA faces. One of the procedures, one of the processes that usually gets lost in the classroom is faculty and students engaging discussions that go beyond merely cross-classroom material. In many ways, ironically, the budget crisis allowed that to happen in some of the courses. So therefore, when you think of the intellectual and social impetus, is students, faculty conversing as peers around issues that impact both of them equally. I suppose being birthed by the initial impact of the budget crisis that's occurring uh, throughout the state of California. The goal here is to discuss the type of social action that comes out both at the university and larger society. So our conversation is to look at what are the possibilities of engagement and of practice. That is, what are the kind of activities that students and faculty can do together to impact the world they live in. It is one thing, for example, for us to express concern about the budget crisis, but the other is what are the possibilities, what, are, what can we do to engage those issues? And therefore, by trying to engage those issues, we go beyond the budget issues themselves. We live in a society in which uh, we criminalize certain youth. Okay, is that an issue that also impacts us here at the university? I believe it is. So there are many issues that we can begin to grapple with and to look at for answers that go beyond what occurs in the classroom. So we're hoping to see a type of uh, discussion of the type of social practice of action that individuals can engage in. It's one thing uh, just to have some faculty and students talk to the group, but I think more fruitful is when their conversations occur. We don't all share the same views. We have different positions. And it's good to have a conversation where we share and air those out. And I think they're at the, kind of before the, the final celebratory event where we'll listen to Olmeca and other musical groups and artistic representations is to have somewhat of a, of a closing uh, discourse discussion around the issues that came up during the prior two. Well, clearly Olmeca's uh, participation both as an artist in his real world activity and as a student here at Cal State Lake, kind of helps focus and begins to form that bridge between the community that sometimes is outside the ivory tower and those of us inside the ivory tower, some of us who belong to an earlier generation who our contact with youth and youth culture is not as profound as we would like it to be, Olmeca and many others who will be coming here allow that bridge and conversation to occur. We'll realize we may have different terms and we may engage in different practices. There is much, however, that different generations can share and build upon. And I think Olmeca can play that role for that conversation. Wow. Uh, we would like as many people to participate. Children of Rebellion on Friday, we begin, excuse me for this, uh, we begin at, uh, registration begins at 10 a.m. And the conference starts at 11 a.m. Uh, we will have our ending event, Art in Rebellion Celebration, from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. here at Cal State LA. And we invite everyone to please come and engage in this conversation. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Great. We got some.